This video is brought to you by Straight Goods News, Canada's alternative online news source. Visit straightgoods.ca. My name is Samantha Bayard and I'm here with Straight Goods News at the Ottawa Convention Centre covering the Liberal Convention with over 3,300 delegates and members represented. It's been an exciting weekend. Well, that's something that, again, I think would be up to the members personally. I am not in favor of uh, cooperation with uh, other parties. I think we need to focus on liberal renewal, focusing on rebuilding our party as our party, well, at the same time reaching out to new people, bringing them into the tent. I think that we need to be much more concerned about bringing new people get engaged with Canadians who don't consider themselves members of any party, who don't consider the, their primary political identity as being a liberal, a new democrat, a green, a conservative, uh, what have, uh, whatever. Talk to the millions of Canadians who didn't vote in the last election. Get them more engaged. And I think that we need to put questions like that first before we can even entertain any notion of cooperating with other political parties in the, the way that's been discussed by a lot of uh, media pundits right now. Okay, great. Thank you so much for your help. No problem. Have a good day. Um, I'm not sure of what I've seen at this convention. There seems to be lots of people against a, uh, a merger, um, so I would doubt it, but it's, I think it's still a possibility. But it just seems that there's lots of opposition, especially in the Liberal Party, mm. towards a merger. As somebody who studies politics, I would say the tendency is towards the middle. So you're in a system like this, you're more likely to end up with a two-party system. Having said that, um, I would not be, I think... I wouldn't be in favor of that personally because I think they'd have to shift a little too far to the left for my liking. Um, but that's a personal perspective. And whether there is actually room for that kind of movement, it seems like the Liberal Party here, my sense from talking to people um, randomly, is that they want to rebuild on their own. But you know, who knows what happens after an, the next election, you'll have to reconsider your priorities again. I think people are pragmatists here too, right? So if push comes to shove, they'll do what needs to be done. But at this time, it seems like, especially coming out of this convention, they're not, they're, I don't think that they're going to feel a need to do that because they feel, generally, they feel pretty excited about what's going on. And I think they see the potential Frankly, to rebuild no. on their own. I don't see a reason for us to swing hard to the left at this particular time. I think liberal success in our previous iterations has come from being fiscally very responsible but not going away from our our liberal social policies. And I think previous liberal governments have shown that you can do both, that you can do both very well and that, uh, that that's the model I think that we should follow because I think that's where most Canadians really are.